I'd like to call the meeting of St. Louis County Board of Zoning Adjustment to order. The board members present today are Janet Herman, chairman, and Angelia Bills, member. The Department of Planning staff members are Debbie Nesbitt, Doug May, and Mel Wilson. First, I offer into the record the affidavit of publication pertaining to today's meeting, December 16th, 2020. The board hereby takes an official notice of and admits into evidence on the record the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance Chapter 1003, St. Louis County Revised Ordinance 1974 as amended, and Chapter 1004, St. Louis County Revised Ordinance 1974 as amended. Next, I call for a motion to approve the minutes of the previous BZA meeting of December 2nd, 2020. I'll and, move. And I will second. The hearing procedure is informal, but is a teleconference and is recorded. The planning staff will read each request into the record. The petitioner will be unmuted, state their name, and make a brief presentation to the board explaining the reason and hardship for the requested variance. The board will not consider financial hardships. Board members may ask questions to clarify the facts. When the board is satisfied with the material presented, the chairperson will then ask if there is anyone in favor or opposition to the request. To do so, click the hand next to your name. If any comments were submitted, the staff will read them into the record. Before a call for the vote, the petitioner may, may request a continuance in order to bring in additional documentation. The board may also request a continuance to gather additional information or for a visit to the site. Once comments have been heard, the chairperson will call for a vote. At that time, the discussion has ended and no further discussion is permitted. The board will generally make a decision today, but since there are only two members at this time, if the board's vote is split 1-1, the request will be deemed denied. If a variance is approved, the petitioner has six months from the end of the state of emergency to obtain the necessary permits or establish the use requested or the variance will expire. The petitioner or any interested party has the right of appeal to the St. Louis County Circuit Court. This must be done within 30 days of the decision. Paperwork indicating the board's decision will be, made, will be mailed to the petitioners. Okay. Oops. okay, first on the agenda is 148-20, Thomas and Linda Irwin request an exception to the rear, rear yard regulations for the purpose of constructing a 24 foot by 32 foot detached structure workshop at 12 Peach Tree Court, maintaining a rear yard of 10 foot of 15 feet as required by the R3 residence district regulations of the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance. Okay, Jim, you are unmuted to give your presentation. Oh, thank you. How's everybody doing? I uh, represent Thomas and uh, Linda Irwin. Uh, they uh, they were on the, the BZA for last week. They, they've made a few changes to their configuration since then. They've added uh, a uh, driveway extension. Um, they reconsidered their uh, their thoughts about what, what would be left for somebody who would in the event they would go to sell that property, uh, they they had pursued not having a driveway uh, extension, and then uh, kind of uh, ch they changed their uh, changed their opinion of that, and they're going to go ahead and add. Uh, they're taking bids right now for or have received two bids uh, so far to uh, extend the driveway back to where the uh, the um, I don't know, workshop is going. Um, they've already uh, taken some of the equipment in the storage that they're moving down from uh, the Chicago area, and uh, they're uh, looking uh, to build to build this workshop for their uh, their son who has uh, some special needs. Uh, he was uh, very fond of his grandfather, and that's the reasoning they're moving this this equipment down is to build uh, more hobby stuff, uh, toys and stuff. They had uh, in the past built toys for kids, stuff like that. So. Um, he's, uh, that's really about it. They're asking for a, uh, 10 foot setback versus a 15 foot, uh, just to, uh, uh, save some, uh, yard space. So, uh, so my question is if it's a, if it's just for him to use it as a little workshop, uh, why uh, do they need a driveway back there and garage doors on the front and uh, a second floor with a window? Uh, there's no second floor. Uh, it's just uh, open. It's an open. Uh, well, it looks pretty high. It looks pretty tall. How tall is that? I can't tell. Was well, 10 feet. 
It's 10 feet one uh, to the where the roof starts. So that's another. Um, um, I mean, I, looks pretty tall. 22, too. 22 feet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, uh, how is the lot coverage? How is the lot coverage? Um, mm -hmm. The lot coverage is fine. Um, they need the driveway because they want overhead doors. Right. Okay. The lot size was 21,000 square feet. Uh, it's 150 by 140. And, and why does it need overhead doors? Why does it need overhead? That's what they chose. They um, they have, like I said, they have some large equipment to, to move in, and uh, the county asked them if if they were to have overhead doors, they would be required to have uh, a driveway extended to it. Their original plan was to not have the driveway and to just have the apron, and they would have the ability to walk out to the shop. Um, but they're not they're not young people. So they reconsidered that and decided that um, if Somebody would go to purchase the the property in the future that the uh, they would be better served to have the driveway, the additional driveway. Actually, it's just a a, a extension from the uh, driveway that's there already, come around the right side of the house. So if you look back where that shed is, it's uh, pretty close to there. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, I did go out there um, and look at the property. Um, okay, um, Angelia, do you have any other questions? Uh, no, I don't. Thanks. Okay, is there anyone uh, for or against this petition if they want to speak at the hand next to their name? So the hand should either be next to your name on the attendee list or it could be in the very bottom right corner of the screen. Uh, at this time, I don't see anyone with their hands up. Okay. 148-20, um, I'm going to vote to deny the uh, request. I, I did go out there and look at the property, and I I just I feel that it's uh, too large for, for that property. Of course, they could bring it in further uh, if they want, but um, I think it would be too close to the uh, adjacent properties. Okay, I you say it's too close to the adjacent properties. What? I feel the 10 foot, if, you know, it's too large of a structure and I don't see the it really the hardship. It's starting to look like a garage to me. So, I, I'm just, <laughs> well, it could be a garage. It could be considered a garage. Okay. Well, I, I'm denying that we're, we're as you have it advertised right now. And I did not hear what Angelia said. I second it. Okay. So this is the second time we're being denied this request. I didn't deny it last time. I went out. I continued it so I could go out and look at the property, which I did. So. Okay. So what what kind of resolution can I offer these folks? Is there, uh... Can I can I call you tomorrow, Jim? I hope so. I just you know, yeah. That's fine. Okay. I'll give you a ring tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. All right. All right. Next one. Next one. Next, uh, 150 20, Antoinette Carroll requests an exception to the rear yard regulations for the purpose of maintaining an existing retaining wall and fence at 5 Laurelwood Court. Maintaining a rear yard of five feet in lieu of 15 feet as required by the R3 residence district regulations of the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance. Kelly Johnson, are you presenting this request? Yes, I am. Okay, you are unmuted to give your presentation. Okay, I'm just trying to get a the the pre the existing retaining wall permitted that was not permitted before I moved in, permitted and um that's basically it. And uh, what, what was your hardship for the retaining wall? I mean, we did see pictures of it, but I'd like to hear it from you. 
existing wall. It was, it's an existing wall that was there before I moved in. And I believe it was there several years, but even before I moved in. And then it came out that it was, um, I guess one of my neighbors decided to say that it was not permitted. So I'm doing all the, the uh, paperwork and everything that I've completed to get it permitted. Okay. So and it's been there quite a while, correct? Yes. I'm pulling up the back, the back uh, lot back there. Okay. I don't have any questions on that, Dana. You said you don't have any questions, Angelia? No, no, I don't. Okay. Um, is there anyone here in favor or opposition? You could hit the hand by your name or wherever uh, Mel said somewhere, somewhere lower. Either in the corner or next to your name. But I don't see anyone. Okay. Well, hearing none, 150-20, I vote to approve the variance as advertised. Okay, and I'll second. Okay, the petitioner will get their uh, application back in the mail. Oh, sorry. Okay. I was looking That's okay. at, I was reading something. Sorry. Mel, there wasn't Mr. Rosner on the list. He didn't. I mean, he's here. Should I ask him? Yeah. Yeah, he needs to be heard. Mr. Rosner, do you have comments? Yes, I do. You're unmuted. You are unmuted at this time. Uh, yes, I do. Uh, that wall was built without my knowledge, and at the time, they took uh, probably three or four feet of my dirt and sloped the wall down and put those uh, in there. They left their tie walls in the bot bottom of the wall. They're still there, to my knowledge. Uh, so, and it was completely <laughs> built without anybody's permission. Nobody knew. I didn't know about it at all. I was in, in and out of the hospital at that time. The wall was probably in the neighborhood of five to six years right before she bought the property. But when she bought that property, she knew that it was had problems and she's done nothing about it. She hasn't even maintained any of her property. The weeds that had grown up behind there is, it is 10 feet high. Uh, I used to cut all the weeds back there. I've cut that for 21 years and maintained all the property behind there. And uh, I feel that uh, I've maintained that property and now you're turning around and giving the property to the people behind me. The county threatened me with a thousand dollar fine that I had to get my wall off of the easement ground. And now you want to put an my neighbors, you want to give them the easement that they don't have to move back off the easement ground? I feel that's illegal. In my opinion, I think my lawyer expressed it to you in a letter on September the 10th. Uh, I really feel bad that I have to keep fighting this. I sent a, a note in on uh, May of 2019 about this to Ron. No citation was given to these people. I don't know why the county has not given them a citation. They gave me citations two times about threatening me that I would have to pay a thousand dollar fine. I don't believe any fine or any any of these things were sent out to the Johnsons. I don't understand why the Johnsons are getting special treatment instead of trying to be equal to the two people involved in this. I went down on November the 14th to talk to the new owners to try to discuss this so we could work it out. And I never received a phone call back. And now we're back on the same thing again. Now, if we can't get this thing straight, I'm gonna to have to take legal action against all parties. There's a lot that I could say more in here. All I know is that uh, I don't understand why I'm fighting all this and they're getting all the breaks and nothing's been said to them. How am I getting a break? Hello? Hello. This, uh, this has been going on quite a while. Um, 
She she is not. Kelly is not planning on doing any more uh, maintenance or anything there because it's not up to her. She's trying to fix the problem the previous owners have had made for her, and so that so it would anything more would be between the county and the Carols once the once the wall has been approved by the county. Mr. Rosner, yeah, I, as far as that, can. according to um, Am I coming through, yes, I can't understand why that you can approve that and move, move not lose one inch in that backyard. That you made me move my wall seven feet from the tree that's sticking through my fence. That that's the way the county made me build that. And you know, you're turning around now and going to give them the easement ground that is part of the backyard that we were maintaining for 21 years. Well, for some reason, they someone didn't offer you the the option to obtain easement releases, I guess, uh, so you could build it at the property line. I was told that I had to move off of the easement ground or I would be fined a thousand dollars a day. Well, I mean, uh, normally that's not the way it is, but um, so I don't know what happened with your wall. Um, but you today you do have the option of building into the easement as long as you get easement releases from the utility companies and Kelly has gotten those to submit to public works. Now it does not give the easement up. It only allows it. It's more for the homeowner acknowledges that if the utilities need through there, they can take the walls down, but they will not be responsible at putting it back up. We've already taken a fence had to put it back up. And who's speaking right now? Oh. Kelly Johnson. Mike was speaking. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I still feel that it's illegal to do that to me and turn around oh, and give it to the people behind me. And I will be taking legal action against all parties that are involved. Well, and that's your option. It would be a civil suit. I know that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have two lawyers. One um, is will be leaving me shortly, Paul, and I have a new lawyer coming on board. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you for your for your input. And uh, you know, we were not on the board when all that happened to you, so that's all new to us. We're just going by what what we have, the information we have today. So I say one more thing. Ron was the one that told me, and Frank's the one that told me that I needed to get off of the easement to build my wall, or they would not okay it. That is the words that I was got from the county. Okay. All right. Well, that, that's all in our records, and thank you. We're going to the next petition now. So, so this one we're gonna are are this the board still maintaining it's approved because of the topography? Yeah. Okay. All right. Now well, we can go on yes. to one fifty one. Yes, I am. Uh, 151-23 Bridge uh, Partners LLC requests an exception to the sign regulations for the purpose of replacing wall signage for O'Reilly Auto Parts at 10611 Page Avenue, maintaining a sign size of 116 square feet and low of 70 square feet as required by the C2 Shopping District Regulations and Section 1003.168 Sign Regulations of the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance. Okay, yes, Paul and hello. Jeff, you're unmuted now. My name's Paul, I'm with Jeff. Uh, we're with Yesco Signs and Lighting and we're working with O'Reilly Auto Parts to, and they are upgrading, painting and upgrading their old businesses and somewhat rebranding um, to make them look nicer. Um, Jeff's gonna go over the square footage information, any kind of questions you have regarding where we wanna just install the new sign that they they're they're going to give to us, and that's that's what we're trying to get past. Okay. And what is the uh, square footage of the sign that's there now? 
the existing sign, the original, the original existing sign is still or is already or was 115 square feet. So the new sign is not going to be any larger than the old sign. Okay. It's just going to be updated with new lighting, new cabinets, and instead of uh, O'Reilly, uh, instead of auto parts being a cabinet, it'll be changed to channel letters. So once those new, uh, once those new ones, once the old ones come down, they'll put up new colors of paint behind it, and then put up new signs that are the exact same size as the original existing signs. So, so basically, just updating the look. Of Chris. Chris. And a need for identification. Yes, ma'am. It's yeah. It's a re national rebranding program. We've already done several in this area, and those were already approved because of the fact that the square footage of the face of the building allowed for the same. They, all of the O'Reillys have a brand of all of their signs are across the board, the 115 square feet. But the stores that we've already done, we've had approved. We've already had approval on because of the fact that the store front was large enough to accommodate the 5% square footage. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, mm -hmm. okay, so we're doing, we're talking about the, we're looking at the Page Avenue store right now, correct? Correct. Okay. All right, um, I don't have any other questions to you, Angelia. No, I don't. Okay. Is there anyone on this WebEx that is in favor or opposition? Please hit the hand by your name or somewhere on your screen i don't see any okay 151-20 i'm going to vote to approve the variance as advertised um <clears throat> i don't know as much a hardship as they're they're maintaining the same uh square footage sign they're just updating it and uh, giving it a new look and they need for uh, <clears throat> excuse me for identification i second it so your paperwork will be mailed to you on this one. Okay, thank you. Thank you. And I'll just leave you two unmuted. Um, Doug will read the next petition into the record. Thank you. Okay. 152-20 O'Reilly Auto Parts requests an exception to the sign regulations for the purpose of replacing wall signage for O'Reilly Auto Parts at 5215 Lee May Ferry Road, maintaining a sign size of 116 square feet and low of 90 square feet as required by the C-8 Planned Commercial District Regulations in Section 1003.168, Sign Regulations of the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance and C-8 Ordinance 24733. Okay, the petitioner and, and, can go ahead. Well, once again, we are uh, they are in the process of painting and making the buildings look nicer, and uh, we're trying to install uh, signage and Jeff can go over that with you. Um, once again, this also is a store that is slightly in larger in square footage in the front of it, but the, the old signage, once again, is the 115 square foot. So they're not changing the square footage. They're just going to, uh, they want to rebrand by painting, painting, the, refreshing the building, make it look new for the community and uh, replacing the sign as the existing square footage as the old sign. So they won't be, you know, they're not trying to make it any, it won't be blinking or lighting or any, it'll just be an upgraded sign with new lights that'll, you know, be more efficient um, to, uh, you know, brighten up the community. Okay. Oh, Angelia, do you have any other questions? No, I don't. Okay. Is there anyone that, is on this WebEx that would like to speak in favor or opposition to this, please hit the hand by your name. I don't see any. Okay. Okay. Hearing none, is it 152? Yes. yes. Okay, 152-20, I vote to approve the variance as advertised. Okay, I'll second uh, the hardship being the same as before, not really a hardship, but the need they just would like to upgrade their uh, signage and, and freshen their buildings. So, all right. So all your paperwork will be sent to you, gentlemen. We're thank you, thank you. Okay. All right. Well, um, meeting adjourned. Yeah.
Sorry, I should have added a little reindeer or something to the end because this is yeah. this is the last meeting of 2020, right, Debbie? A, yes! Yay! <laughs> I can't believe it. it. <laughs> well, and we have to say goodbye. Oh, Angie, I don't know if you were on, but Doug is leaving to take a position elsewhere oh. in Colorado, and um, oh wow, well, this is his last meeting. So yeah, oh, sadly. Wow. Okay, well, well, congratulations. Thank you. He said he hates, to leave our, yeah. he hates to leave our meetings because they're so good. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm sure he'll revamp the uh, Colorado meetings. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, well, Doug, good luck on your new job. Um, you leaving in the first of the year or something? And... Um, towards the end of December, yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, good luck to you. Thank you. It was yeah. nice, it was nice yeah. knowing you. Same to you. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Well, everybody well, have a nice day. Okay. Bye. bye.